So in the last lesson, we talked about intents, slots, and utterances. Now let's take a look at actually using them in our skill service code. And we're going to start with um, the interaction model. So we're going to create a new intent in here, and then we're going to wire it up so that we can respond to the intent in our skill service. So I'm going to create a, a simple custom intent called the hello intent. And I'm going to add some sample utterances. I'm going to start with just hi and hello. So when a user says hi or hello, I want this intent to be the intent that um, responds. So I'm going to save that for right now. And I'm going to start this model building. We're going to come back and we're going to test in just a, a minute here. But while this is building, Let's take a look at our skill service code. So um, I'm going to use this space facts skill that we've been working with and hack it up a little bit here. But um, I can use this as a starting point because it has the Alexa skills kit SDK and some sample code that we can work with. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy and paste for starters. So I'm going to copy this handler that was set up to get a random fact and I'm going to change this change the name of it to the hello handler and the first part of this code what it's doing is it's taking in the JSON that is being sent over by the Alexa service that's this handler input uh, value here and then um, that is down in this next line here that is being used or a piece of that object uh, is being used or an object from within that object. The request object is being used here is this constant named request and we're gonna keep that. Um, but this next piece here is saying to use this handler when the request type is a, uh, a launch request, which we don't wanna do we're already doing that down here for the get new fact, and we'll leave that the way that it is for right now. Um, but what we will change here uh, is what happens when this intent is, uh, is requested by the user. And so we're going to get rid of this stuff here because we don't need that anymore. And we're going to change this uh, for now. We're just going to say hello like that. And we're going to get rid of this also. This is writing back a card in the Alexa companion app, and we don't need that for this example. OK, so now we've got a handler that is going to look at the uh, input that's coming in from the Alexa service. And if the input request is an intent request, and the intent name is oh not not get new fact. We want to change this to something different. We'll say we'll call it the hello intent because that's what we named it. Okay, so this all looks right. All we need to do now is come down to the bottom here, where uh, this section that says exports handler, and then. Uh, add request handlers and we need to add this new request handler that we created in here just like that and then we can save it and so now if um, now if we look at the code and just step through it again what's going to happen when the request comes over is the this handler is going to look to see if the intent request is named hello intent and if it is then this is going to respond with just hello, really simple right now. So let's go back over here to our uh, developer council and oops, I logged out, log back in and let's test this out. So um, tell space, oops. Tell space facts, hello. Hello. So it worked. So let's look at the input here. So the JSON that was sent over to the skill service from the Alexa service, you can see here in the request section here, 
the type of the request was an intent request and the intent name is hello intent and the interaction model is what was used to generate this we created the interaction model so that the alexa service could understand that when a user says hello that we want the hello intent to handle that and so when this gets sent over to our skill service over here our skill service code now is able to recognize that and respond back with hello so that is the um, those are the steps for setting up the interaction model and then handling the request in the skill service now let's take a look at what we would do to pass a slot value over to our skill service and the um, the steps pretty similar so we want to go back to our interaction model again and we want to go to the slot that we just set up our hello intent slot and now we want to also include not a slot but an intent our hello intent intent and we want to add a slot to it so um, i'm going to say my name is and then in curly braces add the name of a slot that i want to use as a placeholder for a value so i'm adding that right into my utterance so my utterance is my name is and then curly braces name and when you do that you'll see down here they uh, the slot with the name name gets added and then you just need to set a type for the slot and there is a slot type for names specifically first names and um, I think there's also uh, surnames, or last names, but I'm going to use for this example Amazon.us first name here. So now um, this built in slot can recognize first names and pull those out of the, uh, the utterance. So I am good to go here. So I'm going to save that and I'm going to build the model here. Okay, and while that's building, actually, I'm not going to change the code until this is done building because I want to. I want to show you something in the intent request first that we're going to use to um, to know what to code in our skill service, and this is kind of a pretty common way that at least that I do it so I'll once I make changes to the interaction model I'll generally test first to see what the intent request is going to look like and then you, just make sure that the inner that the Alexa service is doing what it's supposed to be doing with the uh, with the user um, utterance so I'm going to go over here and just test this out so tell space facts my name is Steve Hello. and let's make sure that it works so what I'm doing to make sure that it works is I'm looking at the JSON input and this again is what the Alexa service generates to send over to the skill service and if I come down here into the request, I can see that the hello intent is the intent that I'm, uh, I'm wanting and that my utterance here with my slot in it is also being uh, recognized here. So I can see now in the, there's a new slot section down here and then the name name is the name of the slot and the value is Steve and that's what I'm looking for when I'm testing now what I want to do is I want to respond back and use that value so I'll say like hello Steve or whatever the value of the slot is when it comes over and to do that I'm going to go back over to my um, uh, skill code here and I'm just going to say uh, respond back with so the input handler here is the object that's going to um, the object that's going to include everything that's 
in the JSON request. So I can sort of navigate this object by looking at the JSON that's coming over. So right now I can see in the request object, I've got intent uh, and slots and then name or value name here and then value here. So I want intent, slots, name, and value to get this. So back over here, I can go request.intent, name, dot value, uh, slots, right? Slots.name, dot value. And then if I save this, let me just double check. So request intent slots name value and just confirm over here intent requests intent request intent slots name value. Okay, so now if I test this again, uh, my name is Steve. Hello, Steve. Okay, so this time the response is is using the value that was um, sent over for the slot. And so just to recap what, what we did here, so we set up the interaction model with the intent and we added a slot to the intent and we included the slot parameter as part of the utterance so that when the user makes a request to the Alexa service, the Alexa service can identify what intent the user wants and also extract the, the value of the slot, in this case name, so that it can be passed over to the skill service. And then once we pass it over to the skill service or the Alexa service passes it to the skill service, we can use it in our skill as part of the response. And this was a really simple example in a, in a more complete example where you would do things like check for slots that aren't filled and if they aren't filled and we need the value then we might respond back by prompting the user with a prompt to the user for the the slot value things like that but for for right now we just wanted to step through the uh the, the process of using slots and uh setting up intents and using them in our code in the uh, the next lesson we're going to step it up a bit and we're going to look at um, coding using a local editor and um, the Alexa skills kit command line interface. And so up to this point, we've been doing everything in the browser, which is fine for what we've been doing uh, and fine for, for simple skills. But as you, uh, as you get uh, to building more involved skills, it becomes harder and harder to, to work in the, uh, the web uh, editor. So we're going to take a look at a local editor and talk about the Alexa skills kit command line interface next.